We're gonna make washi tape and I wanted to make it for my art journal and I decided to choose artist tape and lay it down on my craft mat, use some Inca gold. We're just gonna use a sponge and put a little bit around. Um, basically all you have to do is rub it in lightly and I didn't want it to be even, I wanted to make it kind of uneven so we can make it look like watercolory. And I needed to bring in more color like my journal so we're going to use silks by Luminart. And use a sponge and just lightly sponge color, add it around. You can always add color, you can't take color away. So we're going to keep adding layers and layers. I'm going to add a little brown. Brown kind of warms up the gold and tones down the orange. It makes it a little bit more like my journal page. And then we're going to add a little bit more gold. That Inca gold is super easy to use and very easy cleanup. It's a water base. A little more brown. We're going to put it right over top of the ink of gold. And this silk, since it's transparent glaze, has a really awesome re effect when used over ink of gold. Look how beautiful that gold is. Delicious. You can also add ink with a little paintbrush, um, kind of like using a thick paint. Just keep adding layers and layers and layers until it gets just exactly where you like. Add a little red here. Looks good, doesn't it? Almost good enough to eat. Now, I'm going to add a little bit more color. On this tip paint that I'm painting, it's right on top of just regular plain old masking tape. And the idea here is if you use the acrylic glaze, you can tint masking tape any color you'd like. And if you're doing it on the um, craft mat, basically that means you'll be able to pull it up at any time. Now we're going to add some dots. And I'm going to use some old mesh tape that I had in my stencil drawer. Tape it down with some artist tape. And I may not actually need to tape it down, so I may lift it up afterwards. Then we're going to do, after we've taped it down, we're going to get some regular, just black craft paint. I'm going to pour a little off to the side. And I'm going to use a regular sponge. I'm using a cosmetic sponge actually to apply this as a stencil through the paint, um, through the tape. And when I stencil it, I wanted to get some of the excess paint off so that it's just a light um, coat of black on there. So it looks a little bit almost sheer. We're going to repeat this over the entire um, set of masking tape that I made. We don't want it to be super even, so we're going to pick it up and move it around. And since you're using very little of the black paint on your sponge, it's not going to come through on the back of the stencil, so you're able to just move it around at, at, at will and kind of lay it over top. So we're going to continue. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and start using um, some sequin lace as a stencil. We're going to remove the excess paint and go ahead and do just a light coat all the way through. And we're just going to do it kind of random because I won't, don't want anything to be perfect. The imperfection is um, actually what I like the best. Um, and because we're using just a light amount of paint, it's going to make it really easy and quite fast for us to dry. So we'll hit it with our low temp heat gun. Um, it shouldn't take very long. It should just actually take a minute or two to dry. Probably even just a minute. We put such little coats of paint on here that um, it's not going to be difficult at all to get it to a workable surface again. And the beauty of this um, artist tape and masking tape is you are able to keep building up layers and layers and layers. So now we're going to add a little bit more of our Inca. I think I'm probably going to use a cosmetic sponge to add a little bit more and it be easier to rub across the um, portions of the paint that were craft paint that took up the texture a little bit. The paint is really cool as part of the layers because it just adds a lot of warmth, as I might have mentioned before, to the color and to the tape and makes it look very rich. Um, definitely richer than if you were to have bought this tape. I don't think you would be able to get this effect. So we're just going to keep on going with that. It is quite amazing. And as we keep going, this is going to give us a, a place for us to add our next part, which is going to be the silks. 
and I just want to add a little bit more warmth into it with the silks and since the silks are a sheer glaze I can keep layering up those as well. So we're adding a little bit. I'm going to take some of the excess off. There we go and then we're going to rub it in. This is a little bit of the carmine red and we're just going to just just dab it around and rub it in. Kind of like you know work it in, massage it into the tape. Keep going. Looks pretty. Again we're just warming this up. I think I'm going to add a tad bit more brown as well. The brown is going to warm up the carmine when I do it, and it's also going to warm up that ink of gold, and yet it's going to be sure enough that we can still see the black, which um, that's actually very important too because I want to see all the different layers on our washi tape. So there we go, I'm making this look good, and it's just about ready for it to hit it, us to hit it with our low temp heat gun one more time, and then our tape will be ready to use. And uh, I like the way this is looking. I suggest making extra um, sets of tape more than your project. You can store it on wax paper later. That way you always have a little bit of that handmade washi. You could do a washi swap with some friends. Um, that way you can get unique pieces of tape that you would have never expected, which that can always be fun. Now we're going to go ahead and use our washi tape that we just made in our art journal. And I'm just going to break off a little piece, just like you would do your normal tape. This adhesive still works perfectly fine. And you can rip it and tear it because it's uh, artist tape. And look at that. Perfection. And we'll use a little bit more at the bottom. Love it. You remember, you can save all your leftover pieces on a piece of wax paper if you don't want to leave them on your craft mat. And that way you can save them for later. So whenever you make your washi tape, maybe make a couple extra pieces so you have some. You could do a swap. It'd be kind of also going to use it on this page here. You can see it matches perfectly. Fabulous. So I'm going to go around the outside of it. And I suppose I'll figure out what I'm going to do in the center of this art journal page. I do that a lot. I get pages started and then one day it just hits me as to what I should do on the inside. So just one more piece of tape, put it down the side, probably one more across the top, and make it look good. It's amazing. I mean, look how pretty that is. It took us about, what, five minutes? Maybe a little longer, and you can have amazing tape. Looks amazing. So I can't wait to see maybe what some of you guys do with some of the washi tape you make. Hope you had fun, and we'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.